is Death. It's me, Lainey, back with another video. So today's video, we have three summer DIYs coming at you guys. What? They're super simple. And you might have all these things at home, and you might not. So yeah, you probably, you most likely won't. But there are a few things that you can just easily pick up, especially since it's summer. So yeah, at least one of these DIYs you'll be able to do at home, just one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so our first DIY consists of, you probably won't have this, but a sheet of holographic paper. So yeah, now that you have your holographic paper, right here, put your holographic paper. For this DIY, you will also need a marker. I'm using blue, dark blue, this is black on the camera, and a pen. This is a pen, this is a pen too. So yeah, here's what you're going to do. Take your holographic paper, sit it down, and then take your um, marker, whatever color, and you can just write whatever, ever, ever you want. Super duper simple. And it's just a fun, fun, fun way to do things. Sorry about the noise in the background, that is the TV. You actually might not even need a pin, but this is just for backup. I don't think that you will, because I haven't done this DIY before. So I'm drawing a pineapple. Here's the base. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a little head. Spikety, spikeities. This is not the best pineapple in the world. It kind of looks like a fruit with a crown on it. But hey, no one's perfect. So yeah, there's my little pineapple. So the next thing that we're going to do is like all the little pineapple-y designs. Go to the bottom of the pineapple. I mean, would you not even have to do that? But I start off with the X. And like I said, you don't even have to do a pineapple. You can do a flower if you want. You can even write your name or do anything like that. I love when you guys um tweet me pictures of your um creations. It's like the most best thing in the world to me. It just makes my day if you guys would send me um some creations if you guys do um make these things at home. Just um do anything really, just let your mind flow. I just drew a bunch of lines on there. My like pineapple. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the little leaves. Just make these little bitty leaves and draw some little lines and pineapple this. Here's my finished pineapple. You can cut it out. But I'm going to leave mine in this holographic sheet and set it up. Like it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah. Let's just get right on to the next DIY. Okay, guys. So then for the next DIY, you're going to need a jar, a string of fairy lights, and then da -da, some seashells. So, yeah. Oh, well, there's like so much sun on my desk now. I collect seashells, so every time me and my family go to the beach, I collect the seashells at the ocean. So yeah, the first thing that you're going to do, you might not need all your fairy lights, but guess what? I'm going to use all mine. String your fairy lights down into the jar. Kind of like this. If I turn them on, that might help. Kind of like, see what I'm doing. I get like little on um, process. This makes for some super duper cut cute room decor. So you can just leave it like this, but since um, it is summer, I'm also gonna like tape that right there so it like doesn't come out. I like that's like a little hack for you guys right there. You can like tape it. Tape it down. No, it's not gonna go anywhere. There is a little bit of tape in my jar. So now you can take your seashells. 
They should like catch on the fairy lights. No, fail. But guess what? It still looks. Wow, this is like a complete fail, you guys. I'll show you guys when I'm done. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is it for the third DIY. I feel like it looks so very pretty. Down there with all those little seashells. So yeah, I feel like it looks like really beefy too. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right on to the third and final summer DIY. Okay, you guys. So I have this in a book. Excuse like all the paper and stuff hanging out of it. This next DIY, we are going to make a DIY paper summer train. So what you're gonna need for this, again, some paper, some crayons, just not this color. You're gonna need a few more. You're also gonna need some string. You can use a Sharpie, optional. And then you need some scissors. So yeah, let's get right on in to this DIY. The first thing that you're going to do is tear out one piece of paper. And you're going to draw, like, you can draw, like, beach balls and signs and, um, watermelons, whatever. It's like, and then we're going to cut them out and put them on a string. So, yeah, I'm going to draw some watermelons, signs, and beach balls. And, yeah, so I'm going to do that and show it to you guys when I'm done. Okay, you guys, I finished cutting out all my little pieces here. It took me, like, so long. Um, I have these little flowers here, and I just colored them. There's three of these. There are um, two little beach balls. Oh, no, there's three beach balls. Wait, wait. Give me one minute. There's supposed to be, like, three of our things. Because there's um, three flowers, um, three beach balls. I think there should be like a third of, um, oh yeah, there is. And then there's um, three watermelons. So then here, I suppose that's where your string comes in. Probably do a good amount of string. And you can just like snip that off. You can start like this. I'm also going to need tape. And then you're just going to um, start laying down your objects, kind of like this. And then um, taping them on. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And um, I'll see you guys then. Okay, you guys. So here's the little finished product. It's a little bit like wavy right now. But here it is. Dun, 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 dun. These ones are flipped. So yeah, it's so like this little, um, it's like this little um, pattern of your line. Watermelon, beach ball, sunflower. Watermelon, beach ball, sunflower. Like a super art card, yeah, hands. So yeah. That's that, guys. Make sure to subscribe and like. Bye, guys.